all right welcome back to my channel spiritually back to the bone and i am not reading from spiritual warfare prayers on how i was delivered i am now reading from these are all um in scripture during the bible prayers that bring healing by john edcart and believe it or not i'm going to talk a little bit about how i was healed from my sciatic nerve in my back this is no freaking joke i am very serious when i tell you i healed i i did not heal myself I called upon Father God and I started praying as I hovered over my right side on my lower back on my waist and I worked on my sciatic back sciatic nerve in my back I lay down on the floor of course I lay down on the floor um, I give a I'm gonna give a shout out to my friend Nancy she is a beautiful beautiful lady not only because I have a crush on her but she is a beautiful, beautiful lady, a beautiful soul. She is a light worker as well. I'm not going to say light worker, but she's one of God's children chosen to heal the world and humanity at this time. She's a beautiful soul. And she gave me, uh, she made her own uh, oil, is um, Arnica oil. And I put it on my hip. I put it on my um, sciatic nerve in my lower back. And with the power of prayer, Father God healed me. The Holy Spirit healed me. Jesus, Jesus Christ healed me. No one else. No one else. Nothing else out there worked for me. This is a true and, and, and an honest story. I can say truly in my heart that I was healed from the sciatic nerve pain. If anybody has suffered through the sciatic nerve pain, you know that shit's painful. People are looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with, you? wrong with you, Jesse? I mean, I was at work walking funny, walking in pain. I was really in pain. And I want to read on some things that helped me. First, I, I, I did it through prayer, prayer. Number one, prayer and prayer and prayer. And that's all I could tell you. I'm gonna read a little bit of this book and then I'm gonna read the prayers. God's healing is available to all. Healing is available to all during the kingdom age. It is amazing that some people still believe that God puts sickness on his people. Some may ask God, why do you allow this sickness to come upon my body? They feel you, they feel or may have been told by a church leader or by other people they look up to. Excuse me. That it is the will of God for, for them to suffer in sickness and not be healed. Bullshit. That's a lie. However, that is not biblical. God does not put sickness on his people. Jesus died that we might be healed. I do believe that there may be times when God allows sickness, especially for the rebellion or disobedience. But for God's people, we can expect to live in health and to be healed of all our diseases because of what Jesus did on the cross. And this is if you believe this, not it's all good. Whatever helps for you, please tell me. I would love to learn what healed you. Because what I know is what I'm talking about. Through personal experiences. When Jesus came, he announced the coming of the kingdom of God. In the kingdom of God where his presence of, and glory dwell, no sin or sickness can coexist. We are in the kingdom of the God now but it is not fully manifested. However, it can be established in your life and in your heart. However, Jesus preached the message of the kingdom. He healed people. Healing accompanies the kingdom message. You understand that? He healed people and healing accompanies 
the kingdom of message. This is the kingdom age where you don't have to be sick, broke, or run over by the devil. That is good news. You don't have to be sick, broke, poor, or confused any longer. Sickness and disease are works of the devil. Amen. And yes, it is. I truly believe that. Because what I was doing, I was praying, meditating on other gods, other deities, and nothing worked. Nothing freaking worked, man. It was a band-aid. So what does that tell me? That they lied to me. Who? Whoever I prayed to, whoever I used, it is a band-aid. In my personal life, in my case, it was a band-aid. I don't know who the hell I am or why my soul didn't uh, get healed by the other deities or whatever, Reiki healing and all that. It didn't really work 100%. It worked maybe a little while and then I had to do it again and again. And with this, I don't have to do it again. I just have to keep his word and his commandments and live in the path of a righteous man. At least try to. Because I fear my father. And I seen the light. I seen the miracles. I seen it personally. I know my life. I know what I've been through. Through childhood, I was supposed to be dead at three years old. When I fell off the first story of my building, people that know me could contest to this. Those, are, those who are my childhood friends, my compadre, Joey, shout out to you, my brother. I love you. He was my neighbor, and he knew that I fell around three years old onto this lady that had uh, uh, albinism. She broke my fall. I, I fell on top of her, dropped her groceries at three years old, and I was heavy already. I was a chubby boy. <laughs> and she helped me. I was delivered since that time. That's one of the first times that is an example of how I, I was delivered. By the grace of someone out there taking care and looking out for me. Who was it? You tell me. You guys are all psychic, intuitive, and very mediums, right? Tell me who in the hell did it. Anyways, continuing on. And Jesus came and disarmed the principalities and powers. He made a public spectacle of them, triumphing. Over them, Galatians 2.15. Healing comes with the territory. When you are in Christ, you can expect to be healed. Mark 16.17-18 through 18 says, and, and these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak the new tongues. They will take up serpents. And, and if they drink anything deadly... It will be no means hurt them. By no means it will hurt them. I truly believe in that because COVID tried to get me twice. Fuck COVID. It tried to get me twice and I was delivered from it. People that live with me could witness to it the way I was in high fever, shaking, trembling, weak. And all I did was, trend. I, I told Father, you know what, if, you, if it's my time, take me now. I know who I am. I know where I'm going. Release my spirit. Release my soul. Because I know I'm going to be a big-ass phoenix or something giant in that nature. I'm not afraid. Have zero fear of death. Maybe of the pain a little bit, but that's about it. To go through the, the, that transitional door, hell no. No fear, because I know who I am. He's within me and walks with me. I have no fear. I feel him. Before I couldn't hear him, now I'm, I'm seeing the guidance clearly. Continuing on. And these signs will follow those who believe in my name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will, lay, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So not only should you expect to be healed, but you should also know that you are to pass that healing on to all those around you. That is true kingdom living. 
If you understand a little bit, I will explain a little bit. No meditation in the new age. I used to meditate to the Hinduism, deities, Buddhism. None of that helped me. None of that helped me. I will say it again. It did not help me. At least not to me. If it helped you, I would love to talk to you about it. Leave a comment. Let's chit chat about it. I love to know your miracle. But this is mine. It is what works for me. And I'm telling you, COVID almost got me twice. I transmuted the, ne the negative energy out of my body, called upon Father God to, to infuse it, and I transmuted it out. Then I called Father God Yeshua, the Messiah King, the Holy Spirit, and Jesus Christ to come and heal me, bring his angels, Archangel Raphael, to come and heal me and cover me with your divine emerald green light. And the next day I woke up like if I never had nothing, my strength was back. I went to get tested and I was negative. Twice that happened to me. Reading on. So when you walk in the kingdom of God, in the living of God, in the, and, and born again, and a true believer, there is nothing that, out there that can touch you. There is no weapon forced against you that will prosper truly believe on that I am a witness in my own life okay I'm gonna read before um, before I, I, I take up more time this is the introduction that I'm reading now I'm gonna read the, the, the prayers chapters and verses this one's called healing declarations by the stripes of Jesus I am healed he took my sickness. He carried my pain. I believe it is the will of God for me to be healed. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of infirmity, sickness, and premature death of, of my body. In the name of Jesus, I break every curse of witchcraft and destruction over my body from both sides of my family. In the name of Jesus, I speak to every sickness in my body and command it to leave. See, because God gave you the power and the authority to do so already. You just have to recognize that you have that power within. Wake up. You are powerful. In the name of Jesus, I speak to diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, heart attack, stroke, and multiple sclerosis. Be removed and cast out into the sea. That's in Mark 11, 23. Those that believe, you cast out that mountain into the sea, and it will be, and it will happen, and it will be so. For that believer, if you don't believe, ain't nothing gonna happen for you. I speak to heart, kidney, back, lung, liver problems. Be removed and cast and cast into the sea. I speak to blood, skeletal, and bone conditions. Be removed and cast into the sea. I speak to lupus and every other disease. I command you to leave my body. Every hidden sickness and every hidden disease, I command you to leave my body in the name of Jesus. Arthritis, pain, rhythm, rhythmism, you must go in the name of Jesus. I command all pain to leave my body in the name of Jesus. I, I came against I come against skin conditions in the name of Jesus. I come against, okay, I already said that one. I speak to infections to come out of my body in the name of Jesus. I speak to breathing conditions, asthma, hay fever, sinus, sinusitis, mm, chest con congestion, and uh, pneumonia. To come out of my body in the name of Jesus. Joint conditions and pain must go in the name of Jesus. I came against. I come against any conditions and infirmities that affect me. As a woman, lupus, fibroid, cyst, and tumors in the female. Organs. I command these tumors to die. I loose the fire of God to burn them up and out in the name of Jesus. I come against nervous conditions, insomnia, and acid reflux. 
God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and sound mind. Heart and circulatory conditions, irregular heartbeat, agnemia, and stroke must leave my body. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. Be gone in the name of Jesus. I speak to this digestive disorders and allergies to certain foods. You have no place in my body. You must go in the name of Jesus. I break any and all addictions to pain pills in the name of Jesus. Corroded disc, slip disc, spine, back, and neck problems be realigned and put back in the place in the name of Jesus. I am doing this for me. I have a hip issue. It really, really hurts. But you know what? I've been feeling better. I've only been taking one dose of pain pills of Advil. I don't take nothing hard. And it's been going. It's been subsiding. I will definitely make a video when it's completely out of my body. True story. Facts. I release miracles of healing in my body in the name of Jesus. I believe God for miracles of healing in my life and in my family. Wherever I go in Jesus name. Thank you, Lord, for healing me and delivering me from all sickness and all pain in Jesus' name. I speak to every condition you must obey. I speak to miracles, healings, signs, and wonders be released into me in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, and health and healing are coming now. I got time for another one. Yes, I do. Casting out and renouncing the spirit of infirmity. Before I start, I want to add, for this to work 100%, you must fast. In my opinion, it is a miracle combination between prayer and fasting. And it is the key to, self, self, to salvation and deliverance from anything that is hindering you. And that is a fact. I tried the five keys of the Indian mythology. I love the Indian mythology, but it does not work for me. Works for you? Please tell me. All right, continuing on. Forgive me, Lord, for allowing any fear, guilt, self-rejection, self-hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, sin, pride, or rebellion to open the door of, to any sickness or infirmity. I renounce these things in the name of Jesus. Jesus carried my sickness and infirmities. Matthew 8, 17. I break, rebuke, and cast out any spirit of cancer that would attempt to establish itself in my lungs, bones, breast, throat, back, spine, liver, kidneys, pancreas, skin, or stomach in the name of Jesus. I rebuke and cast out all spirits of causing diabetes, high blood pressure, low blood pressure, heart attack, stroke, kidneys failure, leukemia, blood disease, breaking, breathing problems, arthritis, lupus, Alzheimer's, or insomnia in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through pride in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through trauma or accidents in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that came into my life through rejection in the name of Jesus. I cast out any spirit of infirmity that come that came into my life through witchcraft in the name of Jesus. I rebuke any sickness that would come to eat up my flesh in the name of Jesus. Psalms 27, 2. I break all curses of sickness and disease, and I command all hereditary spirits of sickness to come out. Galatians 3.13 No sickness or plague will come near my dwelling. Psalms 91.10 I command every germ or sickness that touches my body in, to die. In the name of Jesus, I am redeemed from sickness and disease. Galatians 3.13 I lose myself from every infirmity. Luke 13, 12. 
All right, I'm gonna cut it right there. It's 20 minutes, exactly. Um, once again, these are spiritual warfare against sickness, disease, infirmity, everything and anything. I truly hardly believe in this. Matthew 11, 23, when I say to the mountain to go throw itself into the sea, and because I believe and I have no doubt in my heart, Father will make that happen because I believe and I trust and I have faith. I believe I can do this for people. I believe I can do this for myself, but I'm gonna do it on myself first. And then I'm, I will put it on video to see and show if it, hel if it helped. If it didn't, I will be honest with you. I will put it and be honest and say, it did not freaking work. I am doing something wrong. I have to confess all my sins. I have to forgive everyone who has ever hurt me or wronged me. Because that's all negative energy that's in your body. You have to let it go. You have to forgive because you're letting go to, you're letting, you're, you're, you're holding on to pain, past pain, traumas. And believe me, if you say, I cannot let it, let it go, you are holding on and it will manifest into some kind of sickness or block in your life. The reason I know and I witness that it's helping me is because I confessed, I forgave, and I renounced the occult and all the stuff that didn't work for me. I hope I don't offense anybody, and if it does, I am sorry, it's not my intention to do so, but I have to look out for me and my family and my friends, my circle, my soul tribe. If you don't agree with it, I love you. I have fun with you. I love conversating with you. But it is what it is. I'm going to be trying to heal those who are around me and near me. And when you rise up, raise your frequency and your vibration to a higher frequency of your energy, to where you're vibrating so high, you will be healing people by just being in their presence, just like Jesus did. Like the new age says, you will be God-like. But it's just because you're raising and activating your spirit and your soul within and waking up into your spiritual spiritual self on whom the hell you are. We are all badass motherfuckers. Excuse my language, Father God. Jesus, forgive me for that. I am trying very hard to stop cursing. But it's, it's just that I'm very passionate about it. And I truly 100% believe it. I'm living, breathing proof of that. Spiritually back to the bone, spiritually back to the bone. Shout out to all my friends and family. Shout out to my son. He's mad at me again. You know, we could talk about it. Just work it out. Um, to my soul tribe. You know who you are. All right. Spiritually back to the bone. Leave a message. Leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Uh, like, subscribe. And if you think this will help someone, send it their way. Love and light always.